Right, in this quick video I'm going to be replacing the old original rubber grips which are for the bits in a bit of a bad state black skull grips so the only tools I'm going to require for this job are a Stanley knife so I'm actually going to cut these grips off because they're no good and a 3mm allen key for the lock and nut on the new grips right, before I go down the route of actually cutting off I'm going to just try and slide this grip off it does have a little bit of movement on it Yeah, it does move a little bit. But as I said, these grips, they're, they're pretty raggy anyway. I'm not going to reuse them, so I'm just going to cut them. So I'll pull the grip away a little bit so I'm not scratching the bars near the, the brake levers. I'm just going to carefully cut into the rubber. First grips off, as you can see, it was all flake and then coming to bits. Stall the other grip, just make sure the lock and nuts loosened off. Slide it into place. The bars already have a blank and plate on. I think I'll put the Lock and nut underneath. Right, what I've just discovered is I've tightened these grips up as much as I dare go and there's still slag on them. Might be that the bar ends just a little bit slimmer than what this wants to take, but it is nipped up almost the maximum. So I'm going to get a bit of black electrical tape and just put a thin coat of electrical tape on the bar end just to thicken it out a bit and give this something more to grip to. Alright, so what I've done is a couple of turns of electrical tape around there and a bit round this end also. was a little bit more snug on that end and then this end without tightening up it's got a bit more of a snug fit to the electrical tape and then tighten the lock nut up there we go I think I'll leave the original covers in Although the grips did come with these ones, I'll just leave those ones fitted for now. I'll do the other side and then take some pictures. 